Okay, hi folks. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick flight and flight sim here today over from Brantford over to Kitchener, Ontario. Checking out my new PC-12 that I've added to my flight sim. Beautiful looking airplane. And um, we're at Brantford Airport. Now this airport, in case anybody wants to get it for their flight sim, this is airport is done very accurately. And uh, it's done by a fellow by the name of Jim Canole. K-A-N-O-L-D, if you go to flightsim.org, xplane.org, and go to uh, the files, look for Jim Canold, and you'll find his airport. And this Brantford is done very accurately. I used to keep my airplane here. Um, it's what the flying club in the office actually looked like. And they're right beside the fuel pump. Here's the fuel pumps over here, because you pull your plane up there, the guy comes out of the office and fuels your plane for you. And you notice right behind the office, it's this great big blue building. Well, you see the school buses over here. You can see it better from the air. There's a whole parking lot full of school buses over here. This is a school bus factory. And um, you got all the private general aviation hangars over there. Guys keep their Cessnas and their Cubs and everything. And then this, this hangar right here is owned by a guy named Bob Nellis. He used to charge me $25 a month to park my airplane inside. Pretty good deal. This big blue building, there used to be a World War II hangar like this one there, and they tore it down and built this. It looks like a hangar, but it's actually some kind of food processing plant or a bottling plant or something. Something to do with food, anyway. And then beside it is Brant Arrow. That's that place there. They do all kinds of major work like engine rebuilds and final... Or, annual inspections and they put the radios in my plane for me so they're quite things so this thing this plane's quite loud so I'll be turning the volume down up and down so I can talk to you but uh, I'll turn it on to show you how loud it is but it's a beautiful airplane then we'll go from there Why do you 
runway 35, so we'll take off on 35. I'm up to about. Right now we're at uh, above ground level. We're about uh, 1,100 feet above ground level, so I'm up to 2,500 feet. But this whole bunch of uh,
Roger. I'll give you one second here tonight on final.
Mark on a wall between our two matter. We made our turn. We're hitting our next waypoint right here at Air Dig. There into the uh, final approach into the airport. Contact Tower 125 0. 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 Tower 125 0.
Order 44, Roger. Jazz 873, the other 6400 for 8000. Jazz 873, roger higher in just a moment. I'm still learning this airplane, so I have to figure out where all the switches are. The battery switches are. But anyway, I'll get to that later. The main thing was showing on it. Porter 145, Toronto Raider identified, maintain 3000. When you're level 3000, direct need them on course. Maintain 3000, and when you're level direct need them on course, Porter 145. Static elements. And, um, Porter 145, contact terminal 128, decimal 8. switches are up here. 28, at the top. 8, connect. Porter 145. Well, here's all our switches up here. Turn them off. I guess they are uh, so, we have we got everything shut down. I gotta figure out where the The lights are. Bruce 1876, contact Cleveland Center now on 127, decimal 07. 1877, Just check, that was for Bruce 1876, Cleveland Center 127, decimal 07. There we are, parked in Kitchen. Jazz 873, climb 1 1 pound. Let's walk out, Jazz 873. And this is Kitchener, I've been landing here many times. And that's why I love my flight sim, folks. Can't get any better than this. I've got over 50 airplanes. I just, it's just one I just picked up. So I hope you like it. <laughs> 